Hey mate, so Mark Berg recently said that no one's ever caught a metre plus buddy in North Queensland or anywhere in Queensland and that's got to be garbage, right? Like, I've only been here for 18 months. I've already caught one in the 90s and a fair few in the 80s. So I'm positive someone's caught one over a metre. It's just never been caught on film. So that's what I'm going to try and do this week. I'm going to try and catch a metre plus buddy and film it. I've got a couple of spots where I always catch buddies and I've always thought there could be a metery there. So wish me luck. It's going to be a good couple of days, I reckon. Oh, big head shakes. Don't go around there. It hasn't really done much, I reckon it's got a bit left. Oh, that's a whopper. It's a good flatty, it'd have to be about 80. Ah, he's ready. It was a pretty good start, it was only about my fourth cast. It wasn't a metery, it was probably, it would have been in the 70s, but it was so fat, it shows I'm in the right spot. Yep, yep, it's rally I reckon. Oh no, it's a good mango jack I think. Get around those mangroves. Oh no, it's a barra. Little bar. It's a cute little baz. He's so dark, isn't he? Got me as well. Gill rakers. Yep. Oh, top it, I think. I think I must be pulling it in sideways because there's heaps of drag there. I think it's a tarpon. Hit like a tarpon. Or is it a salmon? I don't know. I oh, know, that's neither. They correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's a milkfish, right? Took a realist minnow. They don't take lures very much. What a cool fish. It took off. Look at the size of the tail. That's a flatty, I think. Good one. Had a couple of goes at it. Just swimming towards me. It's not as big as that last one. Still a nice flatty though. Not a metery. Probably 60 odd this one. No, no, it's even smaller maybe. Probably 50s. It's not a metery, but it's a good fish. And a perfect dinner size. This one's coming home. Look at this guy. He was just puffed up. Oh, now he's deflated. Cute as. Oh, off he goes. Look at him, he's just puffed up again. Silly fish. What are you doing? All right, that'll do me, I reckon. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Yep. Feels like a flatty. Yeah, it is. It's got flatty, about 55. So I'm here a bit earlier today. There's still a bit of run in the run out tide. You can probably see this sand bank just in front of me. I've caught lots of flatties here in the past. They sit just on the edge in the deeper water. Usually I fish it on a run-in tide when all the water's pumping over that sand bank and then flatties are just waiting there for bait and stuff to, to get washed over. But I've still caught them on the run-out too, so I'll give it a crack. Yep. 
feels about the same. A bit smaller maybe. A bit smaller that one. Oh yeah, oh that's big. Oh, it's not even that big, it just pulled. I've just hooked it weird. I have to walk it out. There's a camouflage on the sand. It's a perfect match. Be about 50 odd again. Another nice fish. Got something small. Flooding. Maybe about fifty five. Yep. Oh. That was another floody. Yep. Well, yep, that's good fighting. Oh, it is. Oh, it's moving a bit quick. Oh, no, it is. About 50, this one. This fish is stacked up there. Look at that, he just buried himself in the sand. Oops. Now he's on the bank. Alright, he's going the right way now. Come on, off you go. Yep. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think that was another one of those milkfish. So this is the lure that's been catching all the flatties. It's a Duo Realis Minnow 80 millimeter and it's got upgraded decoy trebles. And I just thought I'd quickly run you through how I fish it. So it's a bit of a more subtle lure than deeper divers like the double clutch. It only goes to about half a meter deep. And I like to really jerk it super erratically to get it moving. So I give it one to four really erratic jerks and then I pause and I let it sink. It sinks really slowly with these decoy trebles and I catch a lot of fish on the sink. And if you twitch it really erratically, it sort of moves like this. It's got a great action. It looks just like a dying bait fish. And I fish it quite slow. I feel like a lot of people fish their lures too fast. And I was guilty of that too until I started filming myself fishing and I realized that I was catching heaps of fish after big pauses. So now I fish a lot slower. I'll give a couple of seconds pause in between my twitches. And I like a bit of a softer rod. This one to three kilo rod fishes it really well. It's got a bit of a softer tip. I think it helps with the action. But yeah, they're a great lure. I, they're my go-to on shallow flats up to about a meter deep. All right, it's getting late. That's gonna be my last sesh here. I'm gonna head off. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to another spot. Hopefully that's where my meter plus flatty is. So I'm at my second spot, and this is where I've caught my biggest flatty in North Queensland, the one in the 90s. Oh, shit, I'm on already. That was quick. First cast, literally just touched the water. Don't think this is a flatty because it ate it off the surface. But yeah, what I was saying, there's a sandbank just out there in front of me. You can't really see it because the tide's up at the moment. This is a pretty good fish, actually. And yeah, as the tide recedes, that sandbank will become more exposed and floodies will wait just in the deeper water as the tide rushes off that sandbank, hoping some mullets coming with it. What is this fish? It's trevally. Get lots of trevally here as well. Heaps of bycatch. It's a GT. It's actually a nice little GT for this light setup. Be a couple of kilos. It's not a flatty, but it's not a bad start. Oh, 
that's a big fish, big trevally. I just saw it there. Doesn't know it's hooked. Oh. Not sure if it's a GT, it might have been a golden. He's a big fish. This could take a while. I'm just gonna let him run, wear himself out. take off again soon. There he goes. I think it's probably a GT, but it'd be cool if it was a big golden. Well, I just saw a thrash on the surface. It's a big fish. There he is. Oh no, it is a big golden. Awesome. Let's just hope I can land him. He's taking me for a walk. Yeah, golden. I see that weed on the line, that's not great. Here he comes. Just need a good wave. Need to get him in before all this weed starts causing me, oh, causing me trouble. Damn weed. That was a big golden trevally. Straightened one of my trebles. Which means I probably didn't have a very good hook set. Bama! Just had a hit, saw a fish rise as well. You gonna come back or what? Oh, just, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, just, oh, oh. Oh, that was a big fish again. Another big trevally. Oh, look at that. Garfish just shot straight out of the water. Look at that. There's obviously some big fish out there chasing things. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Jesus, nearly pulled the rod out of my hand. I don't think it's actually that big, but it's took off. Oh no, it is big. <laughs> Not that big, it's queen fish. Oh, look at it go. Damn, that hit like a freight train. Oh, he's jumping. I must have hooked him down the gullet, I reckon. Look at him go. Come on, give me a wave. About hooked him, so he's pulling a bit harder. Hooked him right down the gills, so he wasn't swimming off, but that's going to be my dinner. Oh, come on. Just hit again and again. Yep. Smaller, this one. I think it's a queen fish. Still a nice fish. I don't know if you can see in the video all the white water out there. It's all these currents and tides and wind meeting and that's why all these fish are there. Yeah, it is a queen fish. Nice little queen fish. I reckon there's probably a few bigger ones out there. Oh, it's a long time. Don't bite me off. It's a very cool fish, even if they do bite me off all the time. Look at that, leader's shredded. I was a bit lucky to get that in. So my leader was getting a bit short on my light rod, so I just swapped to my slightly heavier, which is a two to five kilo. Another hit. Another hit. Ugh, grunter. Cool fish, so spiky. Yeah. Ugh, a tiny dart. I get a fair few dart here. Usually they're bigger than that one. I'm pretty much just getting weed every cast now. It's a real pain in the ass, and it's still a couple of hours before that sandbank. 
becomes exposed. So I'm gonna call it. I've got one more spot I'm gonna try tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Not a flutter, it's silver, I saw it. Little barrow is it, yeah. Oh, hook pulled. There's a little barrow. Don't want to be catching them anyway. So I'm fishing my slightly heavier stick because there's heaps of bycatch here. Mainly barrow Monday, you usually get lots of rat barrow here. But good flutties too. Mangrove jack. Cute little mangroves. I could stay here and catch more fish, I reckon, but the better floody spots around the corner where there's a shallow sandbank. Oh, yep. That's a floody. It's not a metery, but it's nice fish. It's a perfect eating size, but it's a long walk back to the car, so it's your lucky day, my friend. Yep. Oh, I think that's another floody. Yep, I think it is. Just a little fella, that one. The floodies always stack up on this shallow sandbank here. It would only be about knee deep, if that. And they seem to sit where the water's flowing fastest rather than in the eddies either side. A lot of people will only fish really still water for floodies, but they will sit in faster flowing water as well, waiting for bait to be pushed over the top of them. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shit. I don't know what that is, but that's big. That's a barramundi, I'm in big trouble. Hopefully big thready. Ooh, big fish. Hasn't jumped, so maybe not a barra. I've only got really small hooks on here, so I'm gonna have to go so easy on it. It's just there, hasn't really done much after that first run. Glad I went for the slightly heavier stick. Don't think I'd be able to lift this on that little one to three kilo stick. Bit of a weird fight. Just dogging it. I think I don't want a croc to come. Heaps of crocs here. I've already seen a couple. I don't know why it hasn't jumped. Maybe it is a big thready. I've been fighting it for over 20 minutes now. Oh, it's a stingray after all that. I can't believe it. Those big leopard rays. Oh, spewing. I didn't think it was a stingray because I saw it hit and I saw its underside. I thought it was a fish. Damn, that sucks so bad. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Just wasted all this good fishing time. Oh, there we go. Damn it. That was one of those big leopard rays. So the tide stopped. I missed the best part of the tide fighting that bloody stingray. So I reckon I might go back around the corner where I started. There's usually a few fish in the mangroves in the mud there. And then once that tide starts running in again, I'll come back here. Oh, it's a little barramundi. Oh no. That's a Trevally. Such a nice GT, it's so yellow. Oh, it's a fish. Small fish. Oh, it's a floody. Don't get that many floodies up at this pit. 
Let's get the odd one in the mud. Get in the water. Oh, yep. Oh, barrel. Oops, yep. Oh, another barrel. There must be a few out there. Oh, pull the hooks. So I missed the start of this fight. That's just a little barra. Didn't have the GoPro running. There's another one that came with it as well. Just a little fella. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a barra. I thought that was a mangrove jack for a second. Wait a minute, come on. It's a better barra though. I think he swallowed my lure, which is not good. He has. Let's go. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. There's obviously heaps of barra stacked up out there, so I reckon I might move on just because it's close season. So I've just come back to that sandbar. Most of it's out of the water now. The tide hasn't really turned yet, but there's a huge storm building behind me, so I'm only going to get a few casts, I reckon. The tide hasn't really started moving yet, but when it does, it all pumps over that sandbank there and forms a little eddy just here. And the fish sit and wait for bait fish to get washed over the sandbank. Mango Jack, just a tiny little fella on the flats. Yep. Don't think that's a fuddy. I hope it is. Oh, it's pretty big. It moved really quick for a fuddy, I think. It hasn't jumped, so I don't think it's a barrel. It's a fuddy, it's a good one. Maybe it's rally. Good fish, whatever it is. Yeah, really nice fish. Big, good barra. Hooked him in the head, didn't jump at all. That's a nice barra. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'd like to stay longer. The tide hasn't started moving yet, but look at that storm that's about to hit. So I'll get this barra back and then I'll be on my way. Thanks for watching guys. I'm going to make a bit of a series out of chasing flatties. So if you enjoyed this episode, stay tuned. I want to get that metering. Oh.